Uh, okay, so I will show a few demos. Uh, let's start with these triangles from Facebook. Uh, this is the example implementation by some developer I found in the internet. This is my source, which I, uh, like I said before, I just copy paste. We have uh, script.js, then we have some uh, components, two components, uh, dot and triangle. Each of them, uh, so, so this is how the code looks like. And I would need to have free hands. I, can I speak without microphone so I can use the keyboard? Yeah. Uh, With microphone, please. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I, I, I can't use keyboard. Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so we have here like over two, 200 lines of code. I have somewhere on my computer the re-implementation. Um, so uh, it will be one, one file because it's just 50 line, 55 lines of code. Um, the application um, initialization and uh, start work, uh, ticking each uh, interval, uh, render thing. This is old copy and paste and just uh, reduced. Uh, this is this is IMPA syntax. So we have the tag. We define triangle, so it will be our triangle component. We have some props. We know props from React. Then on build, we initialize our uh, by default uh, target size is 25 and uh, some render, which we also know from React. And uh, this is logic, is copy and paste. I don't know how to render such nice triangles, but in a way it works. And this is the dot, uh, some more props, which we get from the uh, triangle component. And we render it with some style, and then this is uh, 53 lines of code. So now I need to serve it, hopefully it work. Okay, this is the Imba uh, implementation. It's like 60 FPS. Let's make it harder for Imba to render. Um, so huge. Um, oh, I so. Um, Okay. okay, anyway, uh, I will not make it slower. Uh, I will just tell you what happened. I have also these two examples written in React. I can run it, and then when, and when I will just select element in DOM, like this, it will just, it messes with performance. You see this HTML on the left? It decreases uh, performance uh, like to 50 FPS right now, but with uh, render these counters, which are uh, increasing each uh, frame, they, are, they stops in React. So this is enough to stop React rendering. And I'm sure they have it already on Facebook page because it's uh, so unperformed. Often I click something and it doesn't work. I need to wait for a while and then I click and, it, and the action works. So uh, I think it's important. So they are just hacking. Uh, the new React Fiber will be just pretending to be fast this way. So this is enough to break it uh, right now. What I did already uh, stop the counter to it will be still animated, but the counter will be all the time the same. There is no point to uh, show it to you right now because it's hard for me to operate on the screen. So I will show you just uh, um, my router thing. This is the smallest. Um, this is the smallest subset of the framework I was mentioning. And it's just for routing on, on the front end. Uh, so like I said, I don't define routes at all. Um, I have uh, methods like uh, toggle flag, uh, and then I have uh, helper. I can get some um, value. It's off when I click. It's the uh, it's one, and 
if we go farther, I just, um, so everything is stored in URL. So we think about uh, URL as a store in, in this moment. So we don't define roots at all. We just serialize and deserialize uh, things to URL and from URL. So it's the basic principle you learn. The first thing you learn about object-oriented programming is a store. So you have uh, writers and uh, uh, attributes which, are, uh, which you can write, which you can read. And uh, for, here, for example, I'm serializing, uh, I'm deserializing to the integer. So if you will see, uh, whenever I am in my component, I have a number. It's not a string. So uh, when I use rparam plus one, it just increases. It's not uh, making a string 41 uh, in, in the result, right? So it's really con convenient. It's not like in race controller when you use params in your controller, you always cast it to something so it has, uh, so it's, uh, has its value so you can use it in your al algorithms. Here it's uh, solved by uh, default, like you have getters and setters, and I, this is getter for amount, this is setter for amount. And uh, as you see um, in getters, um, if there is no number, it's one. So you see there is no number in URL, it's, uh, but it's still on our page, it's one. So it's our way of making a default value. When I increase it, it's two, and we see it in, in our URL. And uh, when, you write, when we write it, I also have some pieces of logic to not write it when it's one, so our URL is nice because we, have, we don't need to write it's one, and it's one by default. So this is how, how you use it. And here is much more complex uh, object, which is uh, date. It's native, uh, it's native JS object, and, but it's date. And I need to serialize it so it's, um, so it's nice in our um, URL because by default when I just um, I <laughs> setters, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so let's try to serialize it again on our page. And it's ugly. I don't know how to show it. It's ugly, right? But it still works because it can it deserialize the same way. You can just you have it just in a native uh, eight o uh, object, right? So it's uh, it's super to use. Uh, and uh, this is the extreme demo when you just um, draw something and it's serialized to the. <laughs> Sorry, I just missed something. Just refresh it. Oh, yeah, it works. I think I messed it in the previous console hacking. So it's, al it's already an um, image object, and it's in, in uh, our URL. It's, not in, it's nowhere else, so I will just paste it, and we have another instance. We can save it by mail, and we have our serverless frameworks. I this, all the logic here is like 67 lines of code, and you never again need to define your config router uh, stuff. Uh, I, I uh, figured it out like uh, three, four years ago, and I made race uh, application with, which was without router on the same principles. There's the another and another iteration which is already on front end, and it's uh, improved with getters and setters. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's the that's the simplest part of the framework I'd like you to show. But there is some time, and we can talk about it afterwards.